Now our scriptures talk about a specific energy and uh, then they call that energy Pishach. Now how when you talk about Pishach, you have to you differentiate it with the Bhut, what you call a spirit. So there are two different things. What you call a spirit? A spirit is when a soul leaves the body and the time period before it manifests into another body during that time period that specific soul is called a spirit a spirit exists neither in this world nor in the other world it is just it's actually like it is something which is going through a transformation you're transforming from one to the other one to the next now at times you say na ki ispe bhut ka effect ho gaya at times you say ispe bhut ka effect ho gaya like that spirit is affected like you do a exorcism that exorcism which you are doing actually is not the exorcism or when you say bhut ka effect ho gaya it is not the spirit that you are talking about when you talking this you are talking about pishach so to understand there is a big differentiation in bhut and pishach that is a spirit which is a bodiless existence that is your the body is not there it's a process of transformation the spirit is trying to move into another body trying to look for another body whether lower or higher that will depend on the karma so the, that process of transformation we call that the movement of the spirit and that is the spirit that is not pishach when somebody leaves the body let us say somebody has died or so somebody has died that means the person has left the body so when when the body is left and that specific soul is not a very good soul when i say not a very good soul what i mean to say is that that soul has been doing misdeeds so there is a 13 day period which is given to the heirs that is to the people in which house that specific soul belonged a 13 day period is given to those people and in that 13 day period you are given the entitlement that you can do certain things to release the soul from going to a lower dimension that 13 day period is given If you will just see this, you know, just take a look. That uh, some of you been have been with me now fourteen years, fifteen years, and that time has gone. The time is over. And if you will notice that in certain countries, in certain parts of the world, there are more cases of spirit sightings. There are more cases. Why are there more cases? because in those parts of the world those specific rituals like at times you know when i travel or not even travel i am in delhi also people normally ask me or they tell me this that don't you have spirits in uh, india but why is it that you used to talk about it like this in the rest of the world why is it that you talk about it in the rest of the world don't you have spirits in india also and why do you say that there are more here because yes that, that's a fact actually because why more there because there the rituals are completely completely missing now there are two parts of the world one is the civilized world one is the uncivilized world when you talking about the civilized world civilized world is not developing technology civilized world is when you are working in harmony with nature when you are working for nature when you are working with nature that is a definition of civilized people So when you are working in harmony with nature, and when you are working with nature, then what happens? Then automatically you are given certain entitlements. Then those who are deceased in your families, you are given entitlement that you can be responsible for their release. So people, their entitlement in the family, they have the entitlement to get somebody in the family released. So now what happens when, let's say, a soul leaves the body? now that specific person who soul it is was not a very nice person like let's say that person was basically into misdeeds misdeeds and what's the basic definition of misdeeds if you are doing 
nothing for creation the basic definition of a misdeed is when you are doing nothing for creation you are doing nothing practically at all to aid the creation that is called a misdeed when you are just living for yourself that is a selfish existence a selfish existence becomes a misdeed so when these misdeeds accumulate when accumulate when they get collected when misdeeds accumulate when misdeeds get collected then a time comes that your entitlements get over when the misdeeds get collected then a time comes when you go below the spectrum of a human existence and when you go below the spectrum of the human existence you go into the yoni of a what you call a prashach or a lower level of existence when you living in the world you don't realize in a, for a normal person who is working morning to evening or enjoying life or doing whatever he has to or she has to they don't realize that when their karmas have taken them below the human existence they think what they are doing is right they think what they are doing is right but what actually is happening without them realizing it they go to a lower existence like if i ask anybody all of you who are sitting here there are some of you who do no service no charity and only come when there is a specific need the so can see some faces like that sitting in the back or in the front at the back or maybe couple of faces in the front also but most of them at the back who are doing no good deeds so when you do no good deed but if i ask you that are you doing no good deed do you say no हम तो बहुत अच्छे काम कर रहे हैं नॉट गुड डीड्स बिकॉज नो बडी विल बिलीव नो बडी अंडरस्टैंड दिस दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली बी डूइंग समथिंग रॉन्ग ऑल्सो यू ऑल फील दैट नो वॉट यूर डूइंग इज एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट इफ यू आस्क एनी बडी दैट आर यू डूइंग एनी थिंग रॉन्ग इन लाइफ हुल से येस नो बडी विल से येस एवरीबडी विल से नो यूर डूइंग एब्सोल्युटली एवरी थिंग राइट परफेक्ट सब कुछ तो करते हैं हम लोग ऐसा क्या है जो नहीं करते गलत तो हम करते हैं कुछ नहीं सबके लिए अच्छा करते हैं कितना अच्छे काम कर रहे हैं हम Like once I remember, we used to travel. Then we used to go to various cities for sessions. Then uh, there was one gentleman who was sitting amongst you only. He used to travel with me, uh, but he used to do no charity. So once I asked him, once I was sitting with him, and I asked him that uh, you do any charity? He said yes, a lot. Normally we travel like we stay in a five star. It comes like uh, the bill comes quite expensive. You travel where the bill comes quite expensive. So I asked him what charity do you do because I don't see you doing anything. He says I am spending on the hotel, no, my hotel bill. I am coming and staying here. So even he was able to justify your own travel, your own comfort. You are justifying that as what? Yes, of course I am doing because I am doing it for the foundation. No, you see, you always justify things to yourself. All of us here, we justify everything that we do. We find some medium to justify things to ourselves. क्योंकि हम लोग कभी गलत तो हो ही नहीं सकते क्यों हो सकते हैं मेजोरिटी जो लोग होते हैं मेजोरिटी जो पीपल हुआ जब और एनी वेयर दे कैन नेवर बी रॉन्ग दे ऑलवेज थिंक दिस नो वॉट यूर डूइंग इज राइट बिकॉज यू फाइंड सम वे टू जस्टिफाई दैट वॉट एवर यू आर डूइंग इज राइट यू फाइंड सम वे टू जस्टिफाई वॉट यूर डूइंग इज एब्सोलूटली राइट हुज इज यॉनिंग बुरा बड़ा सा मुंह खोल के Don't yawn with a big mouth open. And she's looking behind us also. See, that's what I meant to say. Little example is here. You yawn with a big mouth, ah, like this. And when I say who's there, you look at me. I didn't do it. <laughs> that is an example. But I know she's smiling also. This is what I'm trying to tell you is this: that you never are able to believe. You are never able to believe that you have done something wrong, or you are capable to do anything wrong. Also, no matter how many lectures I give you, you are never able to believe that because you think that you are perfect. Now, why is it that this happens? I read a little article on this recently about the existence of a peshach, a peshach joni, what is called. Now, these are beings who feed on negative human emotions. Pishach is a level of existence. They are beings who feed on negative human emotions. 
a peshaj is an entity which feeds on negative or human emotions which feeds on negative human emotions it's very important to understand that like a negative human emotion is a food for a peshaj understand this very carefully because not many people understand this dimension a peshaj feeds on negative human emotions now what is a negative human emotion let us say that in a family there's a argument let's see in the family there is a conflict the two people are fighting and arguing with each other so the two people shout and scream at each other okay now when two people are shouting and screaming at each other what is happening what is being generated negative energy is being generated so this negative energy which is being generated is food for the entity of peshaj the peshaj is different from a spirit it is different from what you call a bhut this specific entity feeds when two people are fighting a negativity is created then this specific entity feeds on that negativity basically hum kya bolna cha rahe hain जब कहीं पर कोई नेगेटिव इमोशन जनरेट होती है तो क्या होता है जो पेशाज होता है उसका खाना पैदा होता है फूड लाइक यू डू एग्रीकल्चर एंड यू क्रिएट फूड फॉर सेल्फ सिमिलरली दिस इज एग्रीकल्चर फॉर पेशाज सो इट सिंपली फीड्स इट एग्जिस्ट ऑन नेगेटिव इमोशन नेगेटिव एंटिटीज उसके लिए वो खाना होता है एंड That's when you're fighting with somebody, or when you're arguing with somebody. So, do you realize ever that you are doing something wrong? Do you ever realize that you're doing something wrong? हमें क्या लगता है? We always feel that no, what we are doing is absolutely right. What we are doing is absolutely correct because we are not doing anything wrong. It's the other person who's doing something wrong. Yes or no? It's always the other person who's doing something wrong. You are never doing anything wrong. Now, all of us are connected to either a positive force or to a negative force in creation. And anybody who says I am not connected to either a positive or a negative, I am just released from everything, is normally talking nonsense because that is not a fact. so everybody is connected to either a positive force in creation or to a negative force in creation everybody all of us that is why we say lot of people ask me at times that we are very happy in the world we eating drinking making merry we are doing good doing good work why do we need yoga why the need for yoga this is why the need for yoga is there this is the very reason why you need yoga because either you can go up in creation or you can come down in creation you can never be stagnant in creation you can either go up in creation or you can go down in creation but you can never be stagnant in creation meaning what aap kabhi ek jagah nahi khade ho sakte ya to aap upar jaoge ya aap niche aoge jaise kisi ghar ko agar aap loge to us ghar mein ya to jhagda hoga ya khushi hogi ऐसे कभी नहीं होगा किसी से बात ही नहीं कर रहा सब आराम से बैठे हुए एकदम शांति है नो बडी टॉकिंग टू एनी बडी नो बडी इंटरफेरिंग टू एनी बडी एल्स लाइफ यू सी हाउस होल्ड लाइक दिस एवर यू यू अंडरस्टैंड नो बिकॉज इफ अ हाउस होल्ड वर लाइक दैट बट इफ यू सी अ सन्यास आश्रम इफ यू सी अ सन्यास आश्रम पीपल एज अ सन्यास आश्रम आर नीदर कनेक्टेड टू द नेगेटिव नॉर कनेक्टेड टू द पॉजिटिव दे आर एग्जिस्टिंग इन आर एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ स्टिलनेस अ शून्य अ ब्लैंक Neither here nor there, na paapam na punyam na sukham na dukham. Tab sat chidanan rupa shivo ham shivo ham. Neither here nor there. The people who are living in sannyas ashram, they don't go to temples, they don't go to tirthans. Na mantra na tirthan na veda na yagna. Ham bhojanam na bhojjam na bhokta. Neither food nor the taste of the food nor the pleasure of the food. Neither a mantra nor a tirth nor a yagya. So, if you are a sannyasi. If you are a sannyasi, then it is understandable that you are living at the existence of a sannyasi, and you are not concerned with anything else in life. But in the normal family, it does not happen like this. 
in a normal person, in a normal level of existence, it does not happen like this. Yes or no? In a normal level of existence, what happens? Everybody is doing what? Either they are arguing or they are happy. Either they are arguing with each other or trying to tell things to each other or they are happy, they are sharing good things. These two things are all the time happening in every family. Yes or no? So that tells you, if you are doing, if there is happiness which you are generating in the family, if people are happy and they are doing good deeds, that is what? That is you generating food for what? For the devtas, for the devlok. When you do yajyas, you do havans, you are generating food for the devtas, for the devlok people. But when you are creating chaos, when you are fighting and when you are arguing with each other, there is some kind of a disagreement with each other. When there is some kind of a fight with each other, when you are doing something negative, then you are creating food for the lower dimensions. You have to understand this very clearly. You cannot be at a level of stillness at normal existence. If you think that we are at a level of stillness in normal existence. Stillness means that we are very calm and still. And we don't have to worry about anything else. No. That can only happen in a Sanyas Ashram. It cannot happen in regular people. In regular homes, regular households, it cannot happen. This can only happen in Sanyas Ashram. Those people in Sanyas Ashram are living in Sanyas Ashram. They can only do this. We don't have to worry about it. In the rest of every house, you generate negative energy or you generate positive energy. When you generate negative energy, when you generate negative energy, when you generate food, when you generate positive energy, when you generate mantra or havan, you generate food of people. So at every point of time, at any point of time, you are generating a food like when you till a soil, in the same way you are generating food for one of the negative energies. Now Pishat is also a level of existence. Like we are in the human body, in the human body, the same way you do bad work, the negative work, they go to the initial dimensions, they go to the yonio. So people who do bad things, who do not do, who do not do any good thing, it's the same thing. If you are not doing any good, it amounts to that you are doing something which is bad. So when you are doing something bad, then what happens? You are doing something bad, you go into dimensions of lower beings. And it amounts to this that when you are not doing anything good, then you go to dimensions of lower beings. So when you go to dimensions of lower beings, then what happens? You are actually joining the Pishachas. Yes, in our previous time, we said that you should not go out under a tree in the night. So now, now what happens is, you know, modernly in the modern scientific world, what they tell us, no, no. Yes, yes, you should not go, but actually, why you should not go? Because the tree emits carbon dioxide in the night, and you can faint. This is the explanation which is given to us by people. Right or wrong? Yes, sir. No, but it doesn't function like this. That tree emits so much carbon dioxide that you will faint in the night. Because there is a wind blowing, you are in the atmosphere. It's not that it's going to choke you with that carbon dioxide. What actually is happening? In every tree, in every tree in a jungle or in an open area where there is nobody else, these beings, they are existing. They hang upside down. At times when you are deep shades of dhyana and try to connect with them, what you notice is that they hang upside down. Ulti adhati hote hai. So, because it is an opposite dimension, ulti dimension hai. So, they are hanging upside down. And they are waiting all the time for some place or somewhere where they get negative energy, they get negative food. Because that is food for them. So they will what they will do is they will whisper to in one in the family, let's say there's a family there. In one person's ear they will whisper. Just quietly they will whisper. You just see what the other person is doing. Is it right? Look at the way he's behaving. Is he supposed to behave like that? No. He is not listening to what you are saying. So at that time you will not understand what is happening. At that time you will not understand what is happening. Because you will think it is coming from inside you. But if you sit and contemplate and if you sit and meditate and think, you will, you will understand and you will know exactly that 
it is not happening from inside you it is not happening from inside you somebody or something is putting it in your ear somebody or something is putting that thing in your ear so you act out so when you act out now that prashant goes to the other person and says see how this person is talking to you how he or she is talking to you is this the way they are supposed to behave do they listen to you and they will go and whisper into the other person's ears is this the way to behave so the other person is going to retaliate will say something negative and which touches the ego that is why they say ego is inversely proportional to your level of evolution ego is inversely proportional to your level of evolution meaning what jitni unchi aapki ego hoti hai matlab jitna apne aap ko aap uch samajhte ho baaki logo se utna hi evolution ladder mein aap log niche ho jitna apni maat aap zabardasti logo se banwane ki koshish karte ho utna hi evolution ladder mein aap niche jitna aap cheekte chalate ho utna hi aap evolution ladder mein niche ho so ego is inversely proportional to evolution and this specific entity why it is said ego is bad for you because this specific entity feeds on the ego only and what is negative emotion when you cry when you howl or you shout scream when you think negative about somebody feeling when you think negative about somebody that is also generating no negative emotion so when the negative emotion is being generated it is actually becoming food for pishach so it will whisper something in one person's ear or it will whisper something in the other person's ear and then what's going to happen there will be a clash now at such a time if you will just sit and observe it something very interesting will happen when you are arguing with somebody you will believe that you are right and other person is wrong and a clash will be generated that clash is going to be the food for that entity called pishaj वो आपका नुकसान कर रहे हैं मगर वो उनकी समझ में आपका नुकसान नहीं कर रहे हो वॉट दे आर थिंकिंग इज वॉट यू डूंग इज एप्सोल्यूट राइट लाइक वेन यूर टिलिंग अल यू टिलिंग लैंड यू किल सो मेनी इंसेक्ट्स आप उनके लिए खराब कर रहे हो मगर आप अपना तो खाना जनरेट कर रहे हो ना सेम वे इट इज अल विच दर टेलिंग इट इज अल विच दर टेलिंग दे डू इट एंड दे जनरेट फूड फॉर देम सेल्स इट इज सिंपल फूड दैट दे जनरेटिंग फॉर देम सेल्स एंड यू आर रूनिंग योर लाइफ because actually if you sit and think at that point of time it is not you who is fighting or who is screaming and shouting then you will sit and think then let's say there is an argument happening or you are fighting about something you will sit and realize ki is it me who is talking all this nonsense <laughs> you will you will be so surprised because it will not be you it will be something which will be whispering in your ear all the time ki ye bolo ab ye bol acha aise bol diya iski aisi ki aisi ab aise bol इसको बताते हैं चलो ऐसे बोल सो वॉट गोइंग टू बी हैपनिंग दैट सुपीरियरिटी कॉम्प्लेक्स इज गोइंग टू कम इन साइड यू आई एम सुपीरियर दैट पर्सन इज इंफीरियर यू विल फर्गेट एट दैट टाइम दैट बोथ ऑफ यू हैव टू गो टू द सेम शमशान विद इन अ फ्यू इयर्स दिस बॉडी इज गोइंग टू डिस इंटीग्रेट इन अ फ्यू इयर्स इट इज गोइंग टू गो टू द सेम शमशान इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू लास्ट विद यू फॉर एवर सो वॉट आर यू आर्ग्यू इन फाइटिंग अबाउट it is simple very very simple to understand you are only generating food for the pishach because they need food also to exist like you are living in this physical body there are dimensions which are below you and there are dimensions which are above you when you are living in the physical body there are dimensions which are below you and there are dimensions which are above you so you connect to one of those dimensions this is not possible that somebody says ki i am not connected to any dimension i am still i am shant no so it is not possible ki aap log ye bolo ki hum to kahin se connected hi nahi hai every individual is connected to either a positive or a negative har insaan jo hota hai ya to positive se connected hota hai ya negative se connected hota hai that is what the creation is all about day and night silence and sound chaos and sthirta everybody every human being enjoys a specific kind of an environment like if you will ask people whom you have left at home ki what are you going and doing here you are mad 
Why don't you go and you know, gamble? Why don't you drink? Why don't you party? Why don't you enjoy? They think that you are mad. What are you doing? <laughs> An idiot is a person who thinks he is always right and the others are always wrong. Who is always right and the others are always wrong. Every time. And that person all the time generates negativity around. And that negativity will be food for the Peshash. Now tell me something, let us say you are living somewhere. You are living somewhere and you are getting good food in that house. Every day somebody is giving, making you new dishes for you. Keeping you in comfort. Would you want to leave that house and go? So, so we can't blame the Peshach also then. Because every day you are generating such nice food for him. Or her. Every day you are generating so much nice food, you are creating so many nice dishes. So why would that entity want to leave you? That entity will never leave you. It will always remain there. Always. So when you are doing negative things, when even you are thinking something negative, then what happens? You create that kind of an energy that you create food for this entity. And then this entity does not want to leave it always living with you only. And it troubles you more. Like it will whisper more in your ear. Every day it will go on whispering new new things in your ear. Something new every day. Acha, that person said this, no? Acha, that is what said this, no? So, that clash with that entity is going to generate, is going to be increasing every day. So one day finally what happens, the house breaks. Finally what happens one day, the house breaks. But let me tell you, even if the house breaks, still the people who are living in that house, they will not be at peace. When a house breaks, people who are living in that house still will never be at peace because the Pishaj is still with them. The Pishaj knows this is fertile ground. The Pishach knows this is fertile ground. The Pishach is still is going to be with them. And the Pishach is going to do what? It is going to create that same kind of a clash with some other person now. So all the time it is feeding on you. Like you are feeding on the soil. What you call the food chain, the food cycle. Similarly it is feeding on you all the time. So all the time there are arguments which you are having with people around you. आपका सारा वक्त कोई ना कोई बहस है कोई ना कोई झगड़ा चल रहा होता है घर के अंदर या बाहर शांति से कभी नहीं बैठ पाते क्योंकि आप उस पेशाच के लिए खाना जनरेट कर रहे हो तो मैंने आपको बड़ा क्लियरली बताया है कि दो ही तरह के लोग होते हैं या देव होते हैं या पेशाच होते हैं और उनमें से एक के साथ आप जरूर जुड़े हुए होते हो ऐसा नहीं होता आप बोलो हम किसी से भी नहीं जुड़े हुए हम तो शांत और स्थिर है अगर आप शांत और स्थिर हो तो फिर आप संन्यास के लायक हो अगर आप दुनिया में जी रहे हो अगर आपको दुनिया में अच्छा लग रहा है अगर आपको फैमिली में अच्छा लग रहा है तो उसका मतलब बड़ा साफ है आप शांत और स्थिर नहीं हो आप किसी एक ऐसी एनर्जी से फीड कर रहे हो तो या तो नेगेटिव है या पॉजिटिव है और नेगेटिव है तो वो पिशाच है और पॉजिटिव है वो तो देव है इसका बड़ा सीधा एग्जाम्पल है आप हवन करो यज्ञ करो जब आप हवन और यज्ञ करोगे तो आपके घर में कुछ लोग होंगे शोर मचाएंगे क्या बकवास है वॉट नॉन सेंस इज दिस Whenever you do a yagya or a havan, there are some people in the house are going to say, what nonsense is this? Stop this. Those are the people who are connected to the Vishach straight. And if there are people who say, it's very good, nice fragrance, it's very good. Those are the people who are connected to the gods straight. So connection either here or there is very important. Very very important. If the connection is not there, either here or there, then it means you are in sannyas ashram. You are not concerned about anything in the world. That is called vairagya in yoga. When you say yoga chitta vritti nirod, it means simply what? Okay. When you say yoga chitta vritti nirod, what do you mean? What are you trying to say? Yeah, when you say yoga chakta vritti nirod, what you are trying to say is that you have complete control over your senses, over vrittis, the modifications of the mind. 
you have complete control of the modifications of the mind which is the purpose of yoga actually but then if you have complete control then you will not be going back to the physical actions of the world agar aapka apne ko pura control hai to duniya ke physical actions pe wapas bar bar aap nahi jaoge aap sanyas ashram mein rahoge aap ekdam shant chit aur sthir rahoge aapko kisi se koi farak nahi padega koi kuch hi karta rahe kuch hi bolta rahe it will have no effect on you now a simple way to judge yourself is you let nobody else judge you you should always judge yourself only a simple way to judge yourself is number 1 do you like going out at night because when you go out at night it is said in all the shastras so whenever you go out at night all the shastras internationally they say this that it is negative energies that you are connecting with because when they talk about the devil it is not in the daylight that devil is visible even if you look at christians the devil is not there in the daylight and if you look at the vedic shastras the devil is not there in daylight in the daytime it is there when there is darkness that's why you say tamso ma jyotir gamaya from darkness take me to light so people who enjoy going out at night people who go out at night to raat ko bahar rehte hain unko nishachar bolte hain and that is called a lower level of existence lower level of beings because you see only in the evening sets in the urge to drink comes most of the fights in the house they happen at evening time most of the arguments they happen at evening time because that time the energy is maximum they are manifested maximum so you have to be connected to one of them you become food for these kind of energies and entities very clearly that you are food for them aap logon ka khana ho to jisse bhi aap connect kar rahe ho positive se ya negative se that will decide who or what you are actually okay is this clear yes sir now ab jaise aapka sharir hai what you have to understand is you just sit and think Today's night becomes a very powerful night because today the energy is between you and divine. Today's night becomes a very powerful night because today the energy is between you and divinity is very clear. You can have the vision of Shiv today very easily. Also, also between you and the devil. Also between you and the devil. it is very clear movement because you never exist in isolation aapko ye cheez nahi bholni aap kabhi akele nahi jire hote aap dono negative aur positive ke sath leke chalte ho you always live in duality negative and positive both exist inside you simultaneously you never live alone so since you don't live alone the certain nights where you given access to whatever you want that is why diwali night today amavasya night though being the darkest night of the year you are given the entitlement of accessing the divine over the devil whatever you choose to access so the mantra is given to you by your guru take you to that dimension or to that existence what you have chosen or what you like for yourself now what you have to understand is the path which you are traveling on is very clear it is very clear it uh, it is going to take you to the peshach or it is going to take you to god christ or anti christ what is called they exist together god or the devil they exist together you go one direction either this or that it is not possible that you are going no direction you can't talk like this ki hum to bilkul sthir hai shaant hai hame koi fark nahi padta kisi se agar aise ho to aap sanyas ashram mein reh rahe ho aap duniya mein nahi jee rahe ho so the way to assess and judge yourself is do you like to go out at night do you like that loud music where there is no melody what you have to understand do you like 
that loud music that there is no melody now that when i say loud music what i mean to say you see there are certain ragas in music and those ragas are programmed to touch your senses listen to what i'm saying very carefully in music there are certain thing called ragas and those ragas are there to touch your senses so you have to now see what kind of music are you liking is there anybody here who likes rag dhrupad so is there is there anybody here who know what is rag dhrupad because dhrupad is the rag of the gods gods are supposed to be indulging in dhrupad and if you look at ragless songs where there is no rag if you look at songs where there is no rag just beating and bashing of empty drums and shouting and screaming in each one of your homes in each one of your homes during any function any marriage any party what is the music that you play you tell me senseless shouting and screaming and bashing of drums Yes or no? Yes. Is there any party which you go to where you hear somebody singing classical rag drupal? You have to understand this. Similarly, when I talk, those who are able to enjoy that or to assimilate that or to understand that can be sure that they are moving somewhere towards positivity. That hope is still for them. and those who think what nonsense what philosophy useless philosophy is this they can be sure that there is no hope because either you have to be liking it or you have to be not liking it either you have to be liking this kind of music or you have to be liking that kind of music you cannot say i like none and when you go out in the night in any night party if you go if you go to any night party Do you hear any ragas playing, or do you hear nonsensical beating of drums and of clarinets at the top of their voice, the person singer shouting and screaming and calling that music? So that should tell you what is food. That shouting, screaming is actually what. That is how the bhuts and the prayers dance. It is very serious. This is how the bhuts and the prayers. This is how they dance. senseless getting drunk no control over your senses shouting and screaming soch ke dekho zor zor se chilla rahe ho sharab puri pi rakhi hai hosh hai nahi aas pass kya ho raha hai and bada maza aa raha hai you ask oh we are enjoying ourselves but if somebody asks you what are you enjoying you just sit and think what are you enjoying you will realize that you are just enjoying thinking that you are enjoying बड़ा मजा आ रहा हाँ बिकॉज यू से अरे भाई समझ तो कुछ आ नहीं रहा अगर हम बोलेंगे मजा नहीं लोग बोलेंगे तो बेवकूफ है बैठे हुए हमारे बीच में सो जस्ट टू प्रूव दैट यू आर एंजॉइंग यू स्टार्ट थिंकिंग दैट यू आर एंजॉइंग एंड यू ड्रिंक मोर एंड वेन यू ड्रिंक मोर यू डू मोर वी एट मूवमेंट विच यू कॉल डांस जस्ट थिंक जस्ट थिंक केयरफुल वॉट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इस बारे में ठंडे दिमाग से सोचना घर जाके मैंने क्या बोला कि इज इट एट नाइट एट यू शाउट एंड स्क्रीन and you intoxicate your senses and is that enjoyment what are you actually doing you are only jisko hum log kehte hain na apne narkon ka mark is ye harkatein karke aap log prashast kar rahe ho meaning what you are fortifying the paths which are going to be taking you to hell straight अपने नरकों का मार्ग आप लोग प्रशस्त कर रहे हो ये सब हरकतें करके बिकॉज इट इज दो नेगेटिव एनर्जीज विच आर गोइंग टू बी फीडिंग ऑन यू देन एंड दे आर गोइंग टू बी एंटरिंग यू मोर स्ट्रॉन्गली एंड दे आर गोइंग टू बी टेकिंग यू टू द लोअर डायमेंशन स्ट्रॉगर वे एंड फास्ट वे दूसरा टेस्ट क्या होता है हाउ मच यू एंजॉय ड्रिंकिंग हाउ मच यू एंजॉय शाउटिंग एंड स्क्रीमिंग इन सेंसलेस म्यूजिक दूसरा टेस्ट क्या होता है बड़ा क्लियर दूसरा टेस्ट क्या होता है 
but a simple it is what just keep my photo in the house some of you are laughing so i can know what's what what happens you already know what i'm talking about just keep my picture in your house don't don't do anything just keep it in the house somewhere and you will find there will be somebody who will be itching to pick it up and throw it out of the window you will find there will be somebody itching to do it ek mauka mere isko uthake bahar phenko khidki se or some people throw it also so that's okay not a problem but what you have to understand ke my photograph or my picture will create that kind of an emotion inside it will create that emotion the person will think the pishach will think ab to mujhe yahan pe khana nahi milne wala and that pishach will whisper in that person's ears who's the negative person in your house that person is not the pishach in your house that person is not the pishach the pishach is what is existing on that person so the pishach will come and whisper in that person's ear isko utha ke bahar phenko ye kya bakwas you being fooled you being hypnotized you being used standard sentences you will hear so then what is going to happen it is the pishach which will be whispering into the person's ears all these things and that person will get drunk he will pick up the picture and he will throw it out or that person will start hurling abuses all kind of abuses i keep hearing main kabhi dhyan mein baith ke mere ko na badi badi achhi achhi abuses sunai deti hain kabhi kabhi here all kind of abuses so i wonder ki where are they connected then i realize after some time in this how this person is abusing me because the picture is kept there that energy whatever my energy is carries with the photograph carries with the picture and so it disturbs those people who are food for the pishach so anybody who will talk negative you can be very very sure is directly linked or connected with the pishach no doubt about that that person will be indulging in negative activities and negative activity third is what talking nonsense all the time that is a high level of ego what is called I know it all. मुझे सब पता है. तो जिसको सब पता है, people would say I've reached the source. I know it all. Come and ask me. I'll tell you. So the third indication is this about the Bishal feeding there. A person who says I know it all. मैं से पूछो. मैं से खाता हूँ तुम्हारे को. मैं तुम्हारा गुरु बनता हूँ. Many places you'll hear in the house. अरे सबसे पहले गुरु कौन है? सबसे पहले गुरु तो मैं ही हूँ. Versus ego, okay. So this is the third indication which you get immediately. So, these three indications very clearly tell you that what direction you are taking to. आप लोग किस तरफ जा रहे हो? Fourth, which is a minor indication, is what? जब आप कोई अच्छे charity और service से काम करने निकलोगे, तो सबसे पहले आपको रोका जाएगा. Whenever you try to do some service or charity, first you will be stopped. What are you doing? Why are you wasting this hard-earned money which we have earned all throughout our lives? Why are you wasting this? You are being used. You know, if asa kab kaha kaha jayega, log kya kya istemal karenge. So, what that person would be doing with that money? That person would think that you also being doing the same thing with that money, because that is what the basic nature of the peshaach is to convert the person completely into itself. That is the basic nature of पेशाच वो धीमे धीमे क्या करता है उस इंसान को अपने जैसा बनाना शुरू कर देता है उसके कान में चीजें डाल डाल के डाल डाल के डाल डाल के तो ये क्लैश इससे शुरू होता है सो लाउड म्यूजिक गोइंग आउट एट नाइट गेटिंग ड्रंक डांसिंग सेल्सलेसली विदाउट अ रिदम विदाउट अ राग विदाउट एनी मुद्रास थ्रोइंग पिक्चर्स ऑफ गुरुज आउट ऑफ द हाउस अब यूजिंग दम हर्लिंग अब यूज एट दम not doing any service or charity just focusing on yourself only these are very clear indications these are very clear indications that you are being ruled by the peshach and peshach is not something which is bad it's an existence it's a choice which you and me have what direction we want to take in our lives whether we want to connect to god or we want to connect to peshach sitting sometimes a negative thought will enter your head and it will be based on just these four things which i have tell you
I just told you. I told you these four things. It is on these four things the Prashad is going to come and whisper in your ear. अरे देखो तुम्हारा बेवकूफ बना रहे हैं तुमको एप्नोटाइज कर रहे हैं अरे देखो आई हैव पर्सनली एक्सपीरियंस दिस पीपल हु हैव गिवन द मैक्सिमम इन द वर्ल्ड टू लाइक आई पिक देम अप फ्रॉम द स्ट्रीट एंड मेड देम सिट इन ब्यूटीफुल प्लेसेस बिग बिग हाउसेस दे आर द बिगेस्ट एनिमीज टुडे आई डोंट ब्लेम देम इट इज जस्ट दैट इज सिंपली कनेक्टेड विद द पिशाच Or the people in their homes and the houses who were like Vishaj and got their food from there, so they slowly, slowly are becoming like Vishaj only, and they will be going into those journeys only, slowly, slowly, slowly and steadily. So understand what I am saying? Two levels of existence is only the Vishaj very well exists. It is there. Don't think it is not there. What the Shastra say? कि पेड़ों से उल्टे लटके होते हैं और मौका देखते ही आपके अंदर घुस जाते हैं. और आप एक कान में अंदर चीजें डालनी शुरू कर देते हैं उल्टी सीधी कुछ उल्टा सीधा आप एक कान में बोल देंगे आके अरे ये तो बकवास है ये तो ऐसे है तो वैसे है दैट इज वाई आई मीट लेस पीपल बिकॉज वेन यू विल कम इन टू डायरेक्ट कॉन्टैक्ट विद मी वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन जब आप मेरे डायरेक्ट कॉन्टैक्ट में आओगे तो क्या होगा द पिशाज विल इमीडिएटली गेट अलर्टेड द पिशाज विल इमीडिएटली गेट अलर्टेड बिकॉज उसका भी खाना जाने वाला है But the one source of food for the Peshawar is now going. So, if your food is going to be taken, what will you do? Practically, tell me what will you do. You will stop it. You are going to take your food. Take it from here. Take it from here. So, it is the same thing the Peshawar will do. So, the closer you come to me, the stronger you expose yourself to the Peshawar. Very interesting thing I am telling you. The closer that you will come to me, the stronger you will expose yourself to the Pishat. I am not saying the influence of the Pishat. I am saying exposure to Pishat. There are two different things here now. You are going to expose yourself to the Pishat. Not hand yourself over to the Pishat. There are two different things. Because the energy of the Pishat in higher dimensions becomes stronger. Like the divine becomes stronger in higher dimension, the Peshachi's energy also becomes stronger because it gives an, it has to be an equal and opposite force with the divine. The Peshach has to be an equal and opposite force with the divine. As you go higher, the Peshat also becomes stronger, divine becomes stronger. The choices that you want to go this side or this side also becomes more difficult. Because the Peshach always attacks you through the people who you are emotionally connected to. The Pishaj always attacks you through the people who you are emotionally connected to. जिन लोगों से आप emotionally जुड़े होंगे, जिनको अपना समझते होंगे, आप जिनके आप emotions feel करते होंगे, सबसे पहले Pishaj का attack वहीं से आता है। वो आपको emotionally blackmail करते हैं। अरे हमें भूल गए? हम तुम्हारे साथी, हम तुम्हारे सब कुछ, हमें भूल गए कहाँ चल पड़े? Those are going to be the people from where the first नेगेटिव अट्रैक्शन आर गोड कम एंड एट टाइम्स यू विल थिंक हाँ ये ठीक तो कह रहे हैं बेचारे देखो हम इनको छोड़ के ध्यान पे बैठे हुए हैं इज नॉट यू इट इज नॉट देम इट इज द पिशाच विच इज गेटिंग इन साइड यू और गेटिंग इन साइड देम इट इज पॉसिबल सर्टन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग विच आई एम टेलिंग दिशाच जस्ट स्टॉप दैम ऑन द वे यू डोट एंटर यू इट इज पॉसिबल ए सर्टन थिंग आई एम टेलिंग यू दिशाच विल नॉट लेट देम ट्रेवल टू यू सी यू सी तीन बार तीन दफा बोलना पड़ेगा चार दफा मेरे को एक ही बात को इस बात को तो घर में भी ऐसे ही होगा घर में भी ऐसे ही होता है वट आई विल बी टेलिंग यू द बुक्स विच हैव माई पिक्चर वुड बी द फर्स्ट टारगेट टू बी थ्रोन आउट ऑफ द हाउस उठा के बाहर फेंको ये क्या बकवास है एंड थिंग फॉलो सूट आफ्टर दैट यू विल फर्गेट योर एक्सपीरियंस योर डिवाइन एक्सपीरियंस इज कंप्लीटली एट दैट टाइम बिकॉज द पिशाच विल ओवर रोल यू एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो डोंट बिकम फूड फॉर द पिशाच Don't become food. Don't generate food for the Peshach. Generate food for the gods, and that is done through yagyas and havans and by meditation and chants and mantras. This, uh, these chants which uh, Ajayvanch has recorded in this app, 
Just play them in the house and you see the reaction what happens. <laughs> Just play them in the house and immediately see the reaction that happens. Certain people will start throwing things, they'll go weird, they'll go crazy. Kya bakwas hai? What nonsense is this? Because it will somehow not suit their energy constitution. Okay. Just play this, just play this, <laughs> this these chants in your house and you see what happens. Okay? Yes, sir. Clear? Yes, sir. Very good. So today's night becomes one of the most effective and powerful nights. Don't let negativity rule you. Amavasya ki to raat hai. जो आपको साधना बताई गई है करने के लिए जो आपको मंत्र दिए हुए हैं करने के लिए आप थ्रू आउट द नाइट अमावस्या उन मंत्रों को करते रहो आज के जो अमावस्या की जो रात होगी इन मंत्रों को इन चैंट को कॉन्टिन्यूसली करते रहो बिकॉज दे विल प्रोटेक्ट यू फ्रॉम द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द पेशाच एंड देर प्रोटेक्ट योर होम एंड योर हाउस ऑल्सो फ्रॉम द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द पेशाच बिकॉज यू शुड नॉट फर्गेट Either you'll be food for the peshat, you'll generate for it, or you'll generate for the divinities for the gods. दोनों में से एक काम जरूर करोगे बीच में कभी तुम नहीं झूल सकते कि तुम सोचो ना इधर है ना उधर है ऐसे नहीं होगा हम तो शांत बैठे हैं बीच में ऐसे नहीं होने वाला या तो इधर हो या उधर हो तो अपने लाइफ स्टाइल को देखो अपने लाइफ स्टाइल को स्टडी करो असेस करो और अपने आप को जज करो किसी और को अपने आप को जज मत करने दो जो भी आपको मंत्र बताए हुए हैं वट एवर मंत्र प्रोटेक्शन यू डोंट नो वट दे आर आई नो वट दे आर आपको मंत्रों की शक्ति के बारे में नहीं मानो मुझे मालूम है मंत्रों की क्या शक्ति होती है आप बन करके मेरी सुन लो अदरवाइज दे विल इंफ्लुएंस यू दे विल डेवर्ट यू दे विल डेग्रेस यू दे विल टेक यू अवे फ्रॉम योर पाथ नो डाउट अबाउट दिस जो भी कहता है हम आइसोलेशन में जीते हैं वो बेवकूफ होता है कि नेवर आइसोलेशन दैट इज माई योगा इज नेसेसरी दैट इज माई योगा इज इंपॉर्टेंट इधर यू गो अप और यू कम डाउन वन फॉर्म ऑफ लाइफ टेक्स यू डाउन वन फॉर्म ऑफ वन वे ऑफ लाइफ टेक्स यू डाउन वन वे ऑफ लाइफ टेक्स यू अप योगा चित्रवृत्ति निरोध होता है आपको ऊपर की तरफ लेके जाता है और जो फिजिकल इंटेलिजेंसेज हैं ये शोर शराबा बजाना शराब पीना और सेंसलेसली नाचना ये सब क्या होता है ये सब नीचे की तरफ लेके जाते हैं आपको तो ये मंत्र जो है ये आपकी रक्षा करेंगे किसी भी नेगेटिविटी से एनीथिंग नेगेटिव इट इज गोइंग टू बी कमिंग टूवर्ड्स यू दीज मंत्र आर गोइंग टू प्रोटेक्ट यू फ्रॉम दैट जिनको मंत्र नहीं मिला है एक मिनट आप लोग सारे आंखें बंद करो और एक सारे सारे दफा ओम का चैंट करो दो तीन मिनट के लिए
Feel yourself surrounded with a golden light. Just feel there's a golden light right all around you. Light golden color. As you chant the home, this light just engulfs you completely. Feel this light inside and outside you, outside and inside, light golden colored light.
तो धीमे धीमे वापस आ जाओ बी अवेयर ऑफ गोल्डन लाइट अराउंड यू इन साइड यू एंड आउट साइड यू इस वक्त जो आपको स्टिलनेस और एक अंदर अपने एक हैप्पीनेस सी काइंड ऑफ अ डिटैचमेंट फील हो रही है इस काइंड ऑफ स्टिलनेस एंड डिटैचमेंट एंड हैप्पीनेस जो फीलिंग इनसाइड यू राइट नाउ दिस इज व्हाट आई टॉक अबाउट व्हेन आई टॉक अबाउट बेराके और अबाउट स्टिलनेस दिस यू डोंट गेट इन एनी पार्टी दिस यू डोंट गेट इन एनी नॉनसेंसिकल म्यूजिक और इन एनी गैदरिंग गॉसिपिंग यू डोंट गेट दिस एनी just eight nine times chanting om properly internalizing and you see the kind of sensations you are having inside you so just detach yourself from the physical world which is unreal the physical world which is unreal detach yourself from that from avidya go to vidya go to reality otherwise you will not pass time time will pass you before you realize your body is the age your shukra will reduce you will be good for nothing that time will completely pass you completely the peshach's job will be done you will join the lower beings if you continue to behave and to act like them or to be like them i can guarantee you that the what you follow gita says very clearly so shall you become so try to get this stillness inside you try to get this positive energy positive force inside you stay away from negativity and from negative people okay yes so you can do this chant of om those who don't have a mantra they can write to me and i'll try to understand what level they have reached so all over once more we'll do har har mahadev and then we'll close हर हर 